Hello, good morning. Welcome to this platform. This is uh, Mr. C. Chamber. All right, so in this uh, video, we shall just answer question two and 2A and B. Okay, so make sure you watch this video up to the end. Okay, so we've got uh, the integral that we need to evaluate right here. So what you normally do when you have got uh, such kind of an integral, you just copy it the way it looks, okay? So like this, this is what you need to do. Okay, so once you copy there, uh, I guess by now you are aware that when integrating a constant like this, you just uh, apply the variable that you are respecting. And in this case, you are respecting x. So it will be 1x. For this, for this one, it will be 4x power 1 plus a 1 over 1 plus a 1. For this other one, it will be 3x power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus a 1. Okay. Maybe you might be wondering that where is this, uh, how, how come we have x here? I'm repeating this. When you have a constant, Okay, for example, here we have a 1, so it will be 1x. You just get that constant and put x, like we've done here. The next thing is just to clean up. We shall have x minus 4x power 2 here over a 2 plus 3x power 3 over a 3. All right, so we, we continue cleaning up. So we have x minus 2 into 2, it's 1, into negative 4, it's a 2. So we have a 2x power 2 plus 3 into 3, it's 1. Into 3 here, it's 1. We just have a x power 3 there. So now, if you're able to see nicely, we have these numbers here. Now, what do we do with these numbers? We apply the brackets to show that these two powers are being applied to all the variables that are inside. So we're going to put our upper limit, a 1, which is coming from this here, and lower limit, which is a negative 1. Once we put those, we now substitute. This one will come right here and here and here. Okay, so we shall have 1 minus a 2, 1 here, power 2, plus a 1 power 3, okay, like that. The next thing, the same, we substitute now this one, we shall say minus, down here it will be negative 1, okay, minus 2, and here also negative 1 power 2 plus, we shall say negative 1 power 3, like that, okay. So we now simplify. When we work out what is inside here, we are getting a 1 minus 2 plus a 1 like that, okay? Minus, when we work out what is inside here, we are getting a negative 1 minus 2 minus a 1 like that, okay? So now, here, if you're able to see, we'll just get a 0. For this other one, here, when we work out, we shall get a negative 4, okay? So finally, our final answer will just be a 4. This is a negative and negative is giving us a positive a 4. Let's go now to question B and see what we can get out of question B. All right, so for question uh, 2B, uh, the question reads, At a certain secondary school, all the learners in grade 12 take at least one of the following options, optional subjects. French, F, Home Economics, H E and geography. Twenty learners take French only. Twenty-five learners take home economics only, and twenty-two take or twenty-two learners take geography only. Furthermore, nine learners take French and geography. Twelve learners take French and home economics. Fifteen learners take geography and uh, home economics. And four learners take all the three subjects. Illustrate this information 
in a Venn diagram. So um, basically, what you need to know is that uh, when you've been taught to illustrate this information or the information in a Venn diagram, you need to come up with a Venn diagram like this one, okay? And you indicate that this is my E to show that uh, it's universal. This is a uh, French H E and uh, geography. You indicate. So now, you start following the statements or the statement. They are saying 20 learners take French only. This is a key point, only. What it means here is that you write 20 where French is, okay? Only these 20 cannot be found in any other set apart from French only, okay? We go to the next one, 25 learners take home economics only. So the key point, I'm still repeating, it's only. You just write 25 right here. And for only, we are remaining with the one statement. They're saying 22 learners take geography only. It's 22 right here. So we write 22 down over here. So that's how you do with uh, the statements of only. What it means, it means focus on that region only. Okay. Okay. Further, furthermore, nine learners take French and geography. Twelve learners take French and home economics. Fifteen learners take geography and home economics. Four learners take all the three subjects. So in this case, we shall start with four. We are going to, to, to write four over here. When they say three, all the three sets are involved. This is the intersection of all the three sets. It must be here. You see, there is the part of HE, there is part of French, there is part of uh, geography, which is uh, this region. Okay. And then we come to where they've said nine learners take French and uh, geography. So for French and geography, French and geography, it's over this region. This region is for French and what? And geography. So what we're going to say, we shall say 9 minus 4 so that we get a, a 5. Okay, you see, we have 5. And this holds that uh, when you've got, uh, when you add this and this, it's giving us a 9, which is for French and what? And geography. Twelve learners take French and home economics. So we shall go to where home economics and geography is. This is the region that we want. So we're going to say, uh, uh, did I say tw twelve learners take French and home economics? Okay, so French and home economics, it's over this region. So we're going to say twelve minus four, that would definitely give us eight. The next thing would be, 15 learners take geography and uh, home economics. So for geography and home economics, it's this region. So we shall say 15 minus 4, it's giving us uh, 11. So that's how you, you get to find uh, or to get to answer or to illustrate the information or the given information on the Venn diagram. Okay. So here we get to two marks. According to the examiners, it's two marks. They've indicated that... Uh, this would definitely give us uh, two marks. We go to the next question. How many learners, how many grade 12 learners are at this school? So this school over here has got uh, all these learners inside the, the sets here, the circles. So what we're going to do, we shall say question 2A, okay? They want the number of learners. Okay, in this school, it will be 20 plus 8 plus 25 plus a 5 plus a 4 plus 11 plus a 22. So we just add up all the numbers that are here and what solution are we getting if you're following. So just take up, take up your calculator and punch 20 plus 8 plus 25 plus 5 plus 4 plus 11 plus 22. This is giving us what? 
a 95. So we're getting a 95. Okay. We go to the next question, which is question B. For question B, they are saying, how many grade 12 learners take home economics and geography, but not French? So this is F complement, the complement of F. What you do, since they have said not French, just get your Venn diagram, try to hide all the numbers that are found in French, and look at the numbers that are remaining. That is 25, 11, and 22. So we're going to say 25 plus 11 plus a 22. So when you punch on your calculator, 25 plus 11 plus 22. I guess you are getting a 58. So this is 58. We go to the last question. The last question they are saying, uh, how many grade 12 learners take two optional subjects? Only two optional subjects. You check the regions. This region, it's one option. This one, one option. This one, one option. This, it's two options. These, two options. These, two options, okay? And this one, it's three options. So since they are saying it's two optional subjects, it will be this region plus this region plus this region. That will be, that will be, let me indicate C, that will be 5 plus 8 plus 11. And what are we getting? 5 plus 8 plus 11, it's giving us a 20, a 24. Okay, so this is a 24. Thank you so much for watching. We end right here. Keep on following me. Watch my videos on my YouTube channel, Facebook page, and TikTok. This has been Sichamba Jacob. To the people that would like to do online tuitions with us, this is a number right here that you can WhatsApp. Oko will be able to guide you on how you, uh, you can be part of our online classes. Thank you and bye-bye.